Hello everyone, Cameron from Swift Devs here. Today, well, we're doing some very basic stuff once again. This is programming though, alright? Um, I had a couple of tweets on Twitter saying that you need to do more programming, enough of the storyboard crap. Um, you know, some people just need to know what the storyboards are, how they work, you know, stuff like that. I think it's always good to reference them. Um, but you do have a point. You do have a very valid point. Uh, and we will definitely be starting more co programming, programming, uh, and coding. Oh my word, I cannot talk today. Um, anyway, so I apologize if I'm a little sluggish on this. I just came out of uh, six basketball games this weekend. So Anyway, we're just, uh, I launched Xcode. We're doing a single view application. Hit next. This is what we're going to call this is we're going to call it UI Color. So this is kind of a two-part thing, so make sure to save your code for the next video. And is what we're doing is we're creating, we're, we're messing with the UI color codes, and uh, we're also, after that, we're gonna do a tutorial about actions and uh, IB actions, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, that's about it that's going on. We're doing UI color uh, and we're messing with the buttons and um, just uh, we're just kind of playing around with that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get kind of a small. And I'm not going to work with the user interface too much because we're going to try to do as much as we can uh, using code. So um, I'm just going to throw this into a iPhone 3.5 inch. I probably need to set it for portrait. So let's do that. All right, and go ahead, put a button out there, and um, yeah, oh my word. All right, so we put that there. And then up here in the inspector type, we're gonna go to custom and make it a little bigger. Um, the only thing that we are gonna really mess with is go ahead and make the text color, actually no, we'll wait on that. We will do that programmatically. All right, so right here, um, I'm gonna get rid of this right here. I'm not gonna do anything with it. Um, give ourselves some room. All right, so go ahead, reference the button as an outlet. We're gonna call this BTN. Um, yeah. We're gonna create a function, and we're gonna call this uh, button, uh, let's do, element I don't know and then open up your brackets and we're going to do btn dot set title color and then you get this UI color thing and you now have an option what do you want it to be we're going to type in UI color dot we're going to go we're going to go with the black color and for state, you can go ahead and use UI control state. Put two parentheses like that, and then close it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, okay, the error is gone. We're gonna go ahead and launch this in the simulator. I'm gonna try this out, and um, we're gonna see how this looks. So I've been messing around with UI colors um, for a couple of days, I mean, I mean, it's something that you kind of already have in Objective C, so it's not too different at all. Um, yeah. So while you're at it, while we're waiting, follow Swift Devs on Twitter at Swift Devs. Um, a lot of good stuff going on there. Got a new website coming soon, and um, we can't wait for that to be up. SwiftDevs.co is the uh, website URL. Uh, so yeah. All right. So running it on the simulator here. And we don't have a button. So what do we do wrong? Well, it's what we did wrong is we forgot to put our function in the super view did load. So we're gonna make sure we do that. Button element. There we go. Now we are fine, we're on track, and um, yeah. And there it is, there's our button. Completely off centered, but uh Let's try to center that. There we go. I'm gonna completely flip. If it's not centered. All right. So 
I'm going to make a comment here that it sets the title to black. Next thing, we're going to do btn dot layer dot and it's what a layer does. I mean, it kind of it kind of adds a little more uh, texture to it. And we're going to do background color equals open up your brackets do UI color um, we're gonna do a comma do we'll do bl oh not a comma UI color uh, dot blue color dot CG C oh my word dot CG color and brackets all right, so we're getting this error here. Let's check it out. All right. I'm, I just did this a minute ago. I'm trying to remember. Let's see here. Okay. Button dot layer dot background color UI color. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. Dot. There we go. All right, so don't do the brackets, just do UI color dot blue color, and that in parentheses dot CG color. Um, so now let's try, try this out, make sure it works. Everything looks like it's compiling successfully. So let's try this out. There's our simulator. Well, uh, I mean, it's definitely not pretty. I'm gonna change the title color to the white color, so that way we can see it. There we go. All right, so next thing, we're gonna add another layer to our button. And is what we're gonna do is we're gonna round the edges of it, make it look a little more user-friendly. So, dot uh, corner radius button dot layer dot corner radius equals I'm gonna go with 15 so 15 there we go go ahead and run the code voila you have a very nice looking button uh, I mean nothing too fancy to it uh, it's just a couple of layers and a title color uh, doing it programmatically now in the next tutorial, we are going to be turning this button into an action when you click it. So uh, join us for our next tutorial. I'm Cameron for Swift Devs. Make sure to follow Swift Devs on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter as well by going onto the Swift Devs page and go to the following section, and I'm right in there. So all right, thank you for watching this video.